today um, agriculture contributes 20%, 25% of our GDP, mm -hmm. but it also earns us 30% of all the, of the foreign exchange earnings for Tanzania. Mm -hmm. But when Tanzanians say in the morning that they are going to work, 85% of them go to agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so if 85% of the people produce only 25% of the GDP mm -hmm. and 30% of the foreign exchange earnings, there is a lot of room that is available for improvement in this. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the key areas that uh, we are looking at doing and we have started doing, uh, the number one is to look at the factors that will improve agricultural production mm -hmm. and to target those that will create change mm -hmm. and, and if, if, if anything, to create immediate change. We feel that at the stage where we are now, mm -hmm. we can make a breakthrough mm -hmm. if we, we involve a public-private partnership okay. in a strategic way mm -hmm. that will create win-win uh, situations mm -hmm. for both the private sector, mm -hmm. the farmers, our farming community, as well as uh, as well as uh, the government in relation to moving the economy forward. Mm -hmm. Number one, we developed the agriculture sector development program, which is an investment of 2.2 billion dollars mm -hmm. that the vice president talked about. We then uh, worked out an initiative called Kilimo Kwanza. Yeah. And this initiative was developed by the Tanzania Business Council. Mm -hmm. Now, in relation to this, we have developed a large initiative uh, and a big program mm -hmm. we have called the Southern uh, Agricultural Development Corridor mm -hmm. of Tanzania. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this corridor, uh, or the land set aside in this corridor, is larger than the state of Italy. In this area, in this area, we have 7.7 .7 million hectares. Of those, only 2.1 million hectares are currently under utilization. So there is available 5.6 million hectares of land that can that is available for cultivation when we had uh, what they call internal <coughs> internal governance that was 1960 that we had internal then independence was in 1961 mm -hmm. at the time they, they gave us internal governance i was in standard two okay and you know you can see so how, how will this moving happen? from standard two all the way until I am a professor today mm -hmm. and I'm the Minister for Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Well, I, at least I represent the history yeah. uh, in its uh, entirety. Yeah. In this period, there are areas that we have made a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. And the first one is probably we have been able to remain as one very united country. That, that, that's a very key thing. We have also uh, remained very peaceful and, and we have uh, uh, developed the roots of democracy mm -hmm. uh, to an extent that uh, we feel that uh, we are probably the most democratic in, 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 our, mm -hmm. in our continent or in our region. For more videos, please visit www.voicesoftanzania.com.